Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I do operations with rational numbers? So when adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing rational numbers, we want to make sure all the numbers are in the same form. We're either going to convert them all to fractions or decimals. Usually I like to convert them to decimals because all you have to do is divide the numerator by the denominator. And then to convert the decimal to a fraction, you have to place the decimal over its place value and then simplify if necessary. For example, 0.97, since that's the hundredths place, would be 97 over 100. And then remember, if you're adding and subtracting with fractions, you'll need to get those common denominators. So generally, we're going to convert to decimals, but there are a few instances when fractions are easier. So let's take a look. So number one says, what is the value of the expression? One and one fourth times negative 8.5. So one and one fourth, I just need to convert this one fourth to a decimal and then I will multiply those decimals. So if you don't remember what one fourth is as a decimal, then we can divide one by four. I'm gonna need to put a decimal point there. Four will go into 10 two times and I get eight and then I'm left with two. We're going to bring down another zero and four will go into 25 times. So one and one fourth will convert to 1.25. I just changed the one fourth to 0.25 and stuck it on the end of one and now I'm going to multiply by negative 8.5. So now I am going to multiply these numbers together like they're whole numbers and there's one, two, three decimal places in total that I'll add back at the end. And my answer will be negative since I'm doing a positive times a negative. So let's do one, two, five times eight, 85. So five times five is 25. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2 is 12, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6, and then 8 times 5 is 40, 2 times 8 is 16 plus 4 is 20, and then 8 times 1 is 8 plus 2 is 10. So I get 1, 0, 6, 2, 5 and I need to add my three decimal places back in there and make my answer negative. So the final answer is negative 10.625. All right, let's look at number two. It says, what is the value of the expression negative five and two fifths plus 0 0.4. So I'm gonna change this mixed number to a decimal. So I know it's gonna be negative five point something. So let's convert the two fifths to a decimal. So five can go into 24 times and four times five is 20. So this will be negative 5.4 plus 0 0.4. Okay, I have different signs here. So since I have different signs, I need to treat this as a subtraction problem. And then my final answer will be negative since the absolute value of 5.4 is larger than the absolute value of 0 0.4. And then I'm going to subtract these and then I will just make my answer negative. So 5.4 minus 0 0.4, 4 minus 4 is 0. So I get 5.0 and remember I needed to make my answer negative. So it is negative 5. Okay, let's look at number 3. It says what is the value of the expression below? Negative 6.35 times 1 third. So remember dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal and the reciprocal of one third is three. So if I keep change the division to multiplication and then flip the one third to three over one, it's just negative 6.5 times three. So now I can just treat this as a multiplication problem. 
I have a negative times a positive, so that means that I'm going to have a negative answer. And I'm gonna multiply them like whole numbers and then just add the decimal back at the end. There's two decimal spaces that I'll have to add back in the end. So now let's do six, three, five times three. So three times five is 15, three times three is one, or three times three is nine plus one is 10. Three times six is 18 plus one is 19. So it was a negative answer. And then I have to add two decimal places back in there. So the final answer is negative 19.05. All right, number four, I have three and a half, or three halves minus 2.2. So I'm gonna convert that three over two to a decimal. So two can go into three one time, and then two can go into 10 five times. So three halves, is equivalent to 1.5. So now I'm gonna do 1.5 minus 2.2, and I'm going to keep change change to add the opposite here. So the signs are different. That means that this is going to be a subtraction problem since the signs are different. And then I am going to make my final answer negative since the absolute value of 2.2 is larger than 1.5. So now I just need to subtract and make the answer negative. So 2.2 minus 1.5, I'm gonna need to borrow, 12 minus five is seven, one minus one is zero, and I make my answer negative. So negative 0 0.7 is the answer here. All right, let's look at number five. It says Allison walks 2.2 seven five miles to school and Nick walks two and one fifth miles to school. What is the difference in the distance that Nick and Allison walk to school? So Allison is 2.75, Nick is two and one fifth. I'm going to need to subtract those. I'm gonna change the two and one fifth to a decimal. So I need to do one divided by five. Five can go into 10 two times. So this is the same as 2.75 minus 2.2. So now I'm just gonna subtract those. So five minus zero is five, seven minus two is five, and two minus two is zero. So the uh, difference in the distance that they walk to school is 0 0.55 miles. All right, last one. Abby, Emma, and Jake bought a gift for their PE coach. The gift was $45.45. Abby paid for a third of the gift. Emma paid for 9 fifteenths, and Jake paid for the rest. How much did Jake pay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out how much Abby paid. She paid for one third of the gift, which is the same as dividing by three. So I'm going to take the total of the gift, which was 45.45, and divide it by three to figure out how much Abby paid. So three can go into four one time. And three can go into 15 five times. And then three can go into four one time. And then three can go into 15 five times. So Abby paid 15.15. And then Emma paid 9.15 and Jake paid for the rest. So we will need to take the 45.45, subtract the 15.15 from it for Abby. and then subtract the 915 from it for Emma.
and we're left with $21.15 after we subtract out what Abby and Emma paid. So that means that Jake paid $21.15.